Right, so there's all this mutual respect. The, the male respects the woman because he really does understand how much women are, um, to some extent, defined by our physiology. I remember reading a book on, um, what was it called? It, it'll, it'll come back to me. For some reason, I can't think of the title right now. But this, there was a chart, it doesn't matter. The chart, there was a chart in there that showed the fluctuation in female hormones in any given month. I know you've seen those. They're just, they're wild. I mean, they go up and down like this. Mountains and valleys intersecting. And I showed this to one of my friends, you know, and she said, now it, it, it shows me why I don't know, uh, you know, who I am day to day. I'm, I'm chemically, I'm a different person every day. It, I wake up in the morning, I have a new set of chemicals I'm dealing with. And it showed the male fluctuation of chemicals throughout a month. Just <laughs> like that. Okay, so you wonder why he's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, right? And why today you're the sweetest person on earth and tomorrow you're the biggest shrew, right? There is some relationship to this, this, this hormonal fluctuation in these matters, and males come to understand this. And that I had one friend that discovered actually the, the nature of her period because her husband said, you know, one day she was screaming at him, you know, you're just such a jerk, you're an idiot, blah, 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 blah. He says, no, 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 Jane, I'm the same person I was yesterday and that I will be tomorrow. He says, you're the one that's changed. He says, the things that yesterday you found adorable, today you find infuriating. He said, this happens every month. It happens every month at precisely this time, you know? So it's not me, it's you. And so let's just work with this a little bit, all right? And she hadn't realized that that was in fact the case. All right, so when they both realize this, it's gonna make those times so much easier um, to, to deal with. So there's this again, mutual respect, mutual love of what, what's hard for the other one as far as their physiology is concerned. It's hard for men to live with the fact that they have these readily available, fairly constant sexual desires. It's hard for women to live with the fact that they don't to some extent, and they have these shifting moods that go with their shifting hormones. And this is something that natural family planning, one of the huge differences between the sexes that natural family planning helps couples um, appreciate.